Hello YouTube, everyone who's seeing this, um, as you can probably tell from the title, this is going to be a sandbox tutorial on how you can get it and what it will do and all that stuff. So for those who don't know what sandbox is, sandbox allows you to make your own tracks for NR2003. Now, just going to point this out right away, right from the beginning, I am still not good at sandbox. I'm horrible probably compared to most people that use it. I know the basics which is what I'm going to tell you and when I tell you you can make a track and you can run on it. Not so great for racing because I still I'm not 100% sure on a few things and this is probably going to be in a couple parts because I'm too lazy to do it all at once and it is 1 in the morning. I have work tomorrow, or today. So I'm just going to quickly do one part, and I'll probably do the rest tomorrow and whatnot. And also, if you are looking for a How to Get 2003 for free tutorial, I'll have one out soon. I made a couple mistakes, so I'm going to have to edit a couple things. And that's why there's no yet. And yes, I have a new mic. I went out and bought one because I didn't get one for Christmas, so. Anyways. Moving on with this tutorial, I'll provide a link to Get Sandbox. And if you saw my other videos, click download now. This will come up if nothing comes up, click the click here. But most people this will pop up. Save it to whatever you want. Or you can just open it. I prefer to save it that way you know what you have and all that stuff. Anyways, once you've got that It'll look something like this. Just run the EXE, and that's pretty much it. So then, once you've got that all done, you'll have a folder like this. You'll have all the stuff in it. But first, before you go and opening it up, this is what I suggest doing first. Uh, this will be fine. Make a folder wherever, it doesn't really matter where you make it. I put in my C drive because it's easy to get to. And name it something that you'll remember to put your tracks in. I named it tracks. That's probably the smartest idea to name a track or tracks or whatever tracks you're making. Inside your tracks folder, this is where you're going to be keeping all your tracks. Now, in order to fully make a track and stuff, you will have to get a shared folder. And this will have lots and lots of stuff in it. And the way to get your share folder, go into your papyrus folder, 2003, tracks, and I have lots of tracks, so I'm just going to press S for shared folder have all the stuff in. We're going to want to go copy that and then in your tracks folder you're going to want to paste it so you'll have a shared folder. And then after that you're going to need to download WinMIP which I don't have up so I will probably do what most people do and what I do for pretty much everything. Google Magic. See, I can't even do one of these tutorials without making some kind of problem. There we go. WinNip2, newest version. I'll put a link in the description. That way you'll have to go and Google search. Anyways, once you get WinMip2, open it. And pretty much what Win WinMIP does is it converts files into stuff that NR2003 needs. But what you can also do is unpack .dat files. And this yes, will be another tutorial sometime on how to make a mod. But meanwhile, I don't know why I'm looking there. Oh, I'm so tired. Okay, tracks.
shared and then let's do that and open and what that will do is it will open well it won't open but it will make a folder that is called unpack let's see if I can find it okay we'll just cheat then we'll go with the shared folder then. okay that's why it's not working it will help if you go to the proper folder now there's the unpacked and it'll have even more MIPS and MIPS and MIPS. So now that you've got all this stuff unpacked, everything is good to go. Now, I, I'm not sure if you have to unpack it. I did because do the extra step and make sure it works. I, I, it, it could probably work without unpacking, but I would unpack it just to be sure. Anyways, once you've done that, you can then make your track folder. So you go new, make a new folder, we'll call it YouTube because I'm making it for YouTube so I'm not quite sure what kind of track I'll make yet but anyways when you have that, you have a blank folder, make another folder inside of that one, call it track Matt, let's track Matt. I hope it's track Matt. I'll double check that. Yes, it's track Matt. Anyways, what will go in that track Matt is like your textures and stuff. So, what the dirt will look like, what the pavement will look like, walls will look like. That's pretty much all you will put in your track Matt could be more stuff like I said I really don't know a whole lot I know how to make a basic track that you can go around and drive on and stuff and you could put AIs on it but the AIs will not drive good at them like they'll follow one line and they will try to I'll show you an example sometime anyways once you've made your track mat now we can officially go into sandbox and that's not the one I want that's the one I want now, if you're using XP, I think it will work fine. I haven't really tried too much on XP, because I kind of started to get into this as I got my new computer. If you have Windows 7, you'll have to have DP disabled, which you should already have disabled. And what I also do is right-click Properties, because it will sometimes not work. Yeah, this is... A Blind lines, yeah. Anyways, go compatibility, run a run this program in compatibility mode for and I go Windows XP Service Pack 3. It was working for me without doing this, and then all of a sudden it stopped working, so I did this and it works fine. So then you just double click and open it up, and it's gonna take a oh, it's not gonna take too long. Okay. So then you're left with this, and sometimes you may not have these. I'll get to that a little bit later. Anyways, first things first, we're going to go create straight. And there you go, that's the first piece of our track. You can move it wherever you really want. I like to line it up on the lines fairly. If you're like me and you're lazy and you really don't care about being perfect and you know getting everything lined up perfectly and distance exactly right you don't really need to care but I like to get them as close to the lines as possible so I can kind of you know get a good idea of the distance apart and stuff anyways you know save and then you're gonna want to save it of course in your tracks folder and then your folder now they have to be named the exact same as your folder. Your track name has to be the same as your folder. So you could type it out, but if you're like me, and you'll probably end up screwing it up somehow. I guess I could show you this. I just go copy, copy it, go in, 
paste. Guaranteed to be spelt right. Capitals are all right and stuff. So then after that, what do you think you have to do next? Keep building your track? No, you go new. Open. Open up your track. Now the reason you do this is it gets kind of everything all settled in properly and everything. Ooh, zoomed in quite a bit. And I'm just going to tell you the basic controls. If you press C, your thing will move to wherever your cursor is. And that will be the new center point. So if you want this place to be the center point, just press move your cursor over it, C. And then that's how you kind of move around. Then to zoom out, you hold down X. Zoom, zoom back in, you just hold Z. And queuing up on Ben. Woohoo. And then, yeah. So it feels really, really, really weird and horrible the first time you do it, and you're like, these are the worst controls ever. But once you figure out what they are and stuff, you're like, oh my god, these are actually good controls. Anyways, if you see this big long purple line, that's the start and finish line. This purple line is the line of best fit. It's what's measuring the race track length. And right now it's only 10 meters. So now you're like, okay, but I can't move it. How you move it, which you should do as soon as you open this up, unlock all geometry, and then you can move it around. Let's get in line as best we can. And then you can, you know, move it around, make it longer, which you're gonna probably want to do. So I'll make it a little bit longer. And I think I'm gonna just make like a small short track. Now next what you're going to want to do is put your F sections. Now F sections are your textures and stuff. Remember that track map stuff we were talking about? Yeah, that's what this is for. So that's what your F sections are for. And then seeing this white, that is where your textures will go. I'll show you how to do that in a second. Because first I need to figure out how now this is what you might have when you start. This is what I had when I first started, and I was like, okay, how you put textures in? I don't see anything. I don't get this. This tutorial sucks. And then after messing around for days on end trying to figure out what to do, I figure out if you go view and go draw world underneath, it will show up. Make sure you have two F sections. If you only have one, it won't work. save and show you how to get textures and stuff. Okay, um, probably one way to do it is to steal them from other tracks, which is what I do. So you go file, I think it's batch conversion. No, no, bad, stupid. Stealing from other tracks. Want unpack? And let's go to. Well, one thing you can do is you just click and drag them from whatever track you want to steal and put them in your track folder. That's what I do, and that's why I have lots of tracks in there, because only half of those tracks are probably tracks I've made. Actually, it's probably two thirds I've made. But, anyways, let's steal something from. Let's steal something from Dover. So you open up Dover. Anyways, that's one thing you could do. Another thing you can do is just go in the shared, open up the shared folder, or whatever it's called. Well, whatever the DAT file is inside there. And that will get you your things. Like, it'll show everything that's in there. I'll try to get you an idea of what exactly will be in there. Just open up the track for fun. Unless I don't have it. Um, I'll go in here. So again, it will be in the unpacked file. And this is everything that's in that dat. As you can see, it's an insane amount of stuff in there. That's where you'll get.